you guys want to come into my four wheel camper? Let's go. All right, using the bike rack as my stairs. Open this bad boy up. Got the nice screen door attachment on this one. Come on inside. Take your shoesies off. Gotta drop those at the door. We're gonna shut this because these damn flies have been coming in all day. All right, so um, I'm camping. So it is a little messy, but I wanted to wait to show it uh, once I had everything in here. So um, yeah, I got the sink, uh, stove, thermostat, monitor from four wheel camper, which works great. Oh, we're getting fair on our battery. We better change the fridge to propane. Which I have to say, I never thought I was going to be stoked about this, but having an, a three-way fridge, even though it's a little older and not as efficient as my solar fridge, it is amazing to be able to flip it to propane and let your battery fully recover uh, from running it. So that's only negative. This thing pulls about 100 watts-ish. Uh, cause what I did is I connected to my Jackery so I could read the watt rate. Like I was running this with my Jackery originally before I had a battery to put in here. And so, you know, but, oh, it's so big. It fits so much more stuff than my, there's so many veggies. I mean, it's, it's crazy. There's just, there's so much food in here. It's nuts. Um, my dish cabinet really organized well. But if you take a look back here, that's the water pump I did. And see, there's the uh, th the three-way. And I guess the brass just sort of gets the water line nasty right there. I don't know. I don't know why it does that. Uh, it did on my other one, too. The line to the left bottom is going to my shower. So if I just come in here, I flip these T's the opposite way, then I go to shower if I flip the pump on. If I leave it the way it is, I'm running my sink. And honestly, the sink, I don't really run the pump on it too much because uh, it's a hand pump too. So I prefer the hand pump. It's way less water. Uh, so really the pump actually sort of runs the shower more than anything. Uh, and I just use a Camp Lux shower. I made a little hanger. So I hang it on the propane. I open the door to the propane. I hang it on the propane canister. Um, and yeah, it's pretty cool. And then I, I that water line right here runs all the way up back and actually goes out i drilled a hole into the water fill door uh and so then it comes out there with a little quick dis quick disconnect for the camp lux so that's how that works which is pretty rad uh this is like all the fuse stuff back behind here uh they put like this little table in here it's pretty cool uh i sort of want to extend it um so i'll figure out some way of doing that we have a drawer here with a lot of just miscellaneous stuff i keep my trash can over there which sort of needs to be taken out um i put reflectix in this window because i don't really need it i think it's a funny place that four wheel campers puts it right behind here i mean i guess if you're using this as a bed because this is a roll out bed so this whole cushion will roll over and fill this void right here where we're standing but I don't know. It's like you can't even see out and then it's just bright. I mean, it's great. I love having the daylight come in, but then you just feel like when you're, you know, you're camping and I turn, I turn this on and it's dark. You just can see in everywhere. Like, cause you can get the line of sight above, above this. So I block that window off and then at night I cover that one and I'll cover this one. These curtains are old. They don't really pull straight. So I gotta fix that. Um, I just showered, so that's why the towel's here. Got the massage gun because I just rode my bike today and my legs are going to enjoy that tonight. Um, this pulls all the way to right here. Uh, obviously, I got to move the table and then there you go. There's the bed. Uh, the sleeping bag is just folded over right now, so I just fold that with when I push the other cushion. Bed's made. Obviously, I got to shut this down too. So, you know, it's, it's not as great as, say, like a sprinter build out, right? Or like a transit build out or a pro master build out as far as you having to constantly sort of move stuff like to go to bed i gotta do this you know i gotta put this stuff down uh vice versa in a van you don't have to do that right so that's where i'm like eh, you know but the thing is i love trucks and 
I use my truck. It's nice to have the actual capability. And, you know, it's funny to think about, like, I can go spend $45,000 on a 4Runner or I can go spend 45000 on a new Tacoma. But the Tacoma, even with a 5-foot little bed, lets you put this beautiful camper inside the back. It's just super cool to think that, you know, your little mid-sized truck can just turn into this expedition vehicle when you want. And uh, I've only put this on three times now. Um, and like I said, with the third jack, this third time, it went way quicker. It took me about 40 minutes from the point of uh, getting off the ground because I had it on the ground. So in my garage, if I put it on the ground, I could pop my roof. So I got it off the ground to get it on my little trailer to pull it out, to jack it off the trailer into the truck um, and get it in there. And then uh, I had to obviously do the turnbuckles, which a lot of people complain about. It's a pain in the butt the first few times. I am learning now and I sort of got muscle memory of where they're at, how to turn them. Because it is very tight and you only get little bits of turns. And so... You really got to make them count. Otherwise, it gets very frustrating very, very quickly. And uh, I'm a little slow on rolling videos out. It's just sort of a fun thing for me. But if you like the channel and sort of like what I'm doing here, then uh, I super appreciate you subscribing or even hitting the like button. Makes me go like, oh, okay, maybe I should make some more videos. Maybe more people will watch them. Oh, I'm just another guy doing the truck camper thing, riding a mountain bike. But I'm a little, I'm like cooler sometimes. All right, peace.